Hello my dear friends and welcome back for your daily or bi-daily dose of Farming Simulator 19. Uh, at least I uh, usually have to take my daily dose of Farming Simulator, if not, I feel like something is missing. Ideally, of course, I would like to also play other games in parallel, but for the moment it's not possible because my schedule is already filled up. Nonetheless, uh, for most part of the time, uh, this game suffice for my, uh, you know, gameplay needs. Okay, so back to the game. I just sold one batch of milk, and by one batch I mean exactly 320,000 liters of milk. That's only because my um, Lizard MKS32 liquid trailer is tier 10, which means it has 10 times the normal capacity. Okay, also in the previous episode uh, you saw me merging by plowing um, these two fields. I forgot their number. So now uh, these fields by themselves were quite big, but now after merging them they make uh, at the moment the biggest field on the map. I think it costed me something like, uh, I don't know, 8 million, maybe more. So uh, now I'm already uh, again uh, in debt. So yeah, it will take me uh, another number of episodes to get rid of this dead uh, again. But I don't regret because, uh, you know, after some times it becomes boring to um, use the same fields over and over again. Uh, so, um, because I'm in, I'm in need of at least two types of grain at the moment, I decided to plant one half of the field with corn and the other half with uh, barley or wheat, so one of those two. So yeah, a couple of seconds ago you saw me filling up my Amazon Condor uh, Cedar, which uh, is so familiar uh, for us, at least for me from uh, FS13, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but now for the other crop, I'm gonna use this other start, which is the biggest seeder in the game. Thankfully, now I was able to fill it up from uh, these uh, placeables. Although I must confess, uh, in order to do this, I had to modify um, a little bit the angle at which it accepts uh, seeds and uh, fertilizer. So I think uh, by default it was like 5 and then I modified it to 10. What this basically means is that uh, you have a lot more, uh, you know, surface to play around uh, to trigger uh, to trigger the, the seeds and the fertilizer because otherwise it was too difficult to, to fill it up. So uh, it's uh, it's a tier two. So normally I think it had it had already a big big speed. Uh, no, it's tier three. Sorry. So normally it was running at about I don't know 16 or 17 kilometers. Now in theory it should be triple, and it also has triple the capacity. Yeah, you saw I didn't even fill it up uh, fully because I think I don't need it, it, even even so it has like 25,000 uh, liters of um, seeds and fertilizer So checking for the Amazon Condor, it's doing its, its job. As I mentioned, um, it first was introduced in FS 2013 and then it was absent from FS 15 and 17. Uh, I was still uh, using it, but in the form of a mod. But unfortunately, no one actually rebuilt um, the cedar from the ground up. Uh, the only available mods were just some conversion from FS13. And the thing is, for those who follow this series, 
they know that for each each uh, subsequent version uh, giants increase the level of detail for each equipment and specifically of course the polygon count and uh, I guess the reflection and all the other effects so when you convert an existing model from an older version to a newer one it always looks uh, worse than its um, its counterparts uh, because it's uh, normally it's it's lower poly and in general it's it's inferior so my problem was with Amazon Condor previously uh, you know it didn't look as good uh, as it should now thankfully uh, it's a part of the standard game and I guess I'll still use the occasion to rant about the fact that they don't reintroduce all their previous equipment because you would think when when they have some vehicle in their in their portfolio you would think that they will uh, you know upgraded for each uh, each next version but they don't okay so they they'll have some of the equipment from the previous version of the game but not all of them which is unfortunate of course because if they were to add all the equipment that they had previously you know their their collection of equipment and vehicles would be would have been a lot bigger than it is right now and and it is already impressive if you compare it f with uh, other uh, games in, uh, you know, of this genre, uh, but still, it's not where it could be, at least in my opinion. Okay, so I'm taking care of this of that new newly created field, uh, while on this field, which used to be my biggest field uh, up until uh, last episode. I decided to uh, plant on it some uh, sunflower. Okay, so on that giant field, um, I'm having two types of crops, and this one will be the third type of crop that I need to make uh, pig food. And I don't think I uh, planted sunflower prior to this episode in this uh, season. So yeah, why not diversify? Also, I took the occasion to get rid of some of these pellets. Because unfortunately, for some reason, this planter still doesn't want to uh, fill up the seeds from this placeable. So yeah, um, it, fills, it fills the fertilizer, but not the seeds. So what I had to do, I had to go back to the store and buy me uh, a number of uh, seed pellets and what I'll do in the near future I will modify you know the, the seed pe pellets and I'll make them bigger because normally they have 1000 liters capacity so um, I'm planning to modify them to 10,000 liters and of course increase the prices uh, the price accordingly mm, so yeah and this field will be uh, with the sunflower which of course requires uh, prior um, cultivating unlike the corn with this particular cedar because yeah um, the standard condor is just a cedar well I modified it to also make it a planter but I'm not abusing its function as a planter so I'm only using it as a planter for corn so I explain it many times because if you go on the um, on the official site of Amazon and you look it up it will tell you that it can plant winter corn so at least some kind of corn it can plant so yeah it's yes I modified it but it's not absolutely unrealistic so it, it has some credibility to it I think I planted I uh, plant more of corn on this field than uh, 
than of uh, barley or, or wheat because uh, you know corn it's used uh, at you know twice the rate of uh, uh, wheat slash barley so normally you will find yourself uh, harvesting more corn than you will do any other crop if your main business is uh, raising pigs as mine is Okay, so this giant field is fully covered with seeds. As for the other one with sunflower, there's still a lot of time to wait until it's finished and obviously I'm not doing it myself. Mm. For the most of the work on the fields, I'm using helpers. Sometimes I do this thing myself, it's mostly harvesting sometimes and then loading with a wagon loader so yeah I actually uh, cut uh, cut a little bit of uh, footage so in the meantime uh, I, I let the AI finish uh, planting uh, sunflower yeah but I cut it from the footage so uh, now after all the seeding and planting is done it's time to fast forward the time but just only till the next morning because obviously I will have to uh, fertilize my field and yes uh, I'm planning in the near, f near future to maybe buy um, a slurry spreader at least a slurry sp spreader ideally I would also like to have a manure spreader but the problem with the manure is that I would have to load it manually which I hate doing because I hate using uh, uh, a bucket so yes there is this um, automatic belts that you can install but again I just I guess I'm just too lazy to, to install this belt system so maybe if I'm gonna get into you know slurry uh, well into manure slash slurry at least I'm gonna buy a slurry a spreader because it can automatically load the, the slurry without my uh, input okay um, yeah here I'm gonna dry out or I should say swath the grass to make hay as for the field with uh, uh, sunflower on it I'm gonna have to fertilizer uh, because my main fertilizer is uh, this one is already used in this field and I already noticed some problems it looks like this fertilizer has a problem recognizing the entirety of this field so as you can see not only didn't it fertilize the, the, the two merge fields uh, it even skipped some rows or min rows on the first field on field 20 so there's definitely something going on of course as a backup uh, no it won't work so I was thinking that as a backup I could just generate the course with a course play but the thing is that course play will also generate courses only on you know initial fields so in theory you could generate two different courses and then merge them yeah and this is what happened with the AI so what I did, I just generated a course of swathing and I let the, you know, I generated the course with the course player but as you saw, the AI just got stuck and my first idea 
was that maybe the structure was inadequate so that's why I'm using this uh, more powerful fan uh, 1100 but you'll see in a moment that this one also has its own problems so I don't know what's going on it's it looks like is the problem of of uh, cosplay AI maybe cosplay it's you know it looks like it's an still an unfinished mod yeah so my solution ultimately will be to to just swath it myself and then record the course and then later thankfully i will be able to use the course so i'll only have to do the swathing once myself and then i'm gonna use a recorded course yeah um of course i still have the problem that the the swathing only works in one direction so I have to swath in one direction then I lift the swather and then I do it in the opposite direction yes I know it's a lot of work but at least <laughs> at least I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to do it just once and then reuse the course yeah because I don't know about you but for me I guess the most successful courses have always been uh, the ones that you record yourself and they're the and they are also the fastest because the AI from course play sometimes it's more efficient than the standard AI but at least for me it always looked like it's less efficient so it's slower especially when making turns so yeah the fastest and the most efficient courses are always the ones that you record yourself the turns are more efficient are always a lot more efficient But of course it requires more work so that's why i'm trying to avoid recording my own courses but if i must i must of course my goals my goal in this series have always been to advance as fast as possible to higher tiers which makes uh, you know the gameplay faster and most of the time more interesting And yes, as I mentioned, mentioned uh, numerous times, FS19 itself being much harder than FS17, of course it's harder to achieve higher tiers, because money, money making is harder. Uh, yes, I could in theory play at lower difficulty, but I always, 100% always have been playing farming simulator series at the hard difficulty you know at easy and medium i was only you know testing the game but but even even testing now i'm always doing it uh, on hard difficulty because if not mm, this can compromise your tests for example because mm, the lower the difficulty the the higher the prices so if you also uh, it's historically it used to be that when you start the game at uh, easy and medium you was giving uh, you were giving uh, at the beginning of the game so some crops in your um, uh, in your silos so yeah if you wanted to if i wanted to test the true the true experience i always um, have done the test uh, on on hard difficulty i i hope this makes sense i don't know if you if you understand the context because i know 
not all of you viewers are, you know, long time uh, farming simulator uh, fans. At least not all of you have been playing FS series from 2009. I hope you do, but I assume not all of you are as old as I am. Now that my one of my helpers finished uh, fertilizing uh, my sunflower field, I can use that tractor, the fan tractor, to uh, start uh, windrowing my grass field. In the meantime, I'll try to fix the the missed areas of my fertilizer. Um, helper because even though I have the biggest field I'm trying to maximize uh, the yield of, uh, of my crop especially considering that I'm not destroying the weeds and weeds you know if you probably know they also reduce uh, the yield uh, 20 or 25 percent so yeah, when I started this series, I was uh, removing the weeds, sometimes um, by weeders, sometimes by spraying the fields. But after some time, I stopped doing it because uh, each each harvest was too too difficult. It, it was taking too much time, either by by making it prohibitively too expensive to weed spray the fields either making it too long because the weeders they I think they, they have a default speed of 10 kilometers an hour and they they're quite narrow they're I think they're 12 meters the, the biggest weeder is 12 meters wide so so yeah even if you're using two weeders from two um, from two sides of the field it was taking it was just taking too long, so I decided to not uh, remove the, weed, the weeds, at least for now. Maybe in the future when I'll probably be more you know, richer, um, maybe I could start uh, re, you know, re, re spraying my fields for for weeds removal. Okay, so finally, the job is done. All my fields are nicely fertilized, so this means I can fast forward the time, but not for long, of course, just uh, until my, my crops matures on the fields. And before I go, I, it looks like I have enough pigs for one more uh, delivery and the nice thing now is the fact that my Wilson animal trailer being at tier 20 this allows me to load my pigs from all my four pigsties which is great because previously I had to make four deliveries each time then I had to make two and now I just have to make one. So so yeah, when I have a full load of pigs, I just load them all at once and then make just one deliver, which makes the things a lot, lot faster. Because selling pigs being my main business, it's getting too repetitive, you know, to, to have uh, lots and lots of pig deliveries. Now uh, I should be able to deliver 800 pigs at once. For now, <laughs> maybe it, it will be even more in the future. The problem being the fact that uh, animal placeables can only hold a maximum of 511 uh, animals. 
So yeah, just when I said that I'm gonna make just one delivery, well, I fast forward the game even further and it looks like I have enough to make even one deliver more, which is great because this will finish the episode for today. And here I should make another 800,000. So as usual guys, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below saying what would you want to see me doing next time. So I wish you all a great day and I hope to see you all next time. Bye bye.